whenever we look at the sky, clouds look like feather canyons and ice cream castles in the air. But why do they look as if they're suspended in mid-air? And are they actually floating? And if so, what keeps them aloft? A cloud is a collection of water droplets and ice crystals. These droplets form around a cloud condensation nucleus which could be a speck of dust or salt, according to science. When a water-laden cloud grows too heavy, precipitation falls as rain, snow or hail. But even before rainfall, these droplets make their way toward Earth, albeit at a leisurely pace. There are several reasons clouds float. Air density. Clouds form in regions where the air has cooled sufficiently for water vapor to condense. The cooled air becomes denser than the surrounding warmer air, causing it to rise. As the air rises, it carries the water droplets or ice crystals with it. Buoyancy. The tiny water droplets and ice crystals in clouds are very small and have a low mass compared to the volume of air they displace. This makes them less dense than the surrounding air, allowing them to float and remain suspended. Updrafts, winds and atmospheric conditions often create updrafts, which further lift the cloud particles higher into the atmosphere. These updrafts help maintain the cloud's height and shape. Gravity. While clouds are lifted by updrafts and buoyancy, gravity also plays a role in their floating. However, the overall effect of buoyancy and updrafts is more significant than the force of gravity acting on the relatively small water droplets or ice crystals. It's essential to note that clouds can vary in altitude and composition, leading to different types, shapes, and sizes of clouds. The combination of temperature, humidity, and atmospheric conditions determines the characteristics of the clouds that form in a particular location.